Well, France has suspended uh, mandatory COVID vaccination for its healthcare workers and firefighters. Thousands of them are allowed to return to work starting today. This isn't necessarily the end of the controversy, though. Some health professionals say that by making vaccinations optional, authorities are essentially putting patients at risk and they may be uh, paving the way for future crises. Well, I'm joined uh, here in the studio by science reporter Shirley Sitborn. Shirley, good to have you as ever. Um, how many unvaccinated workers uh, roughly are we expecting to kind of be uh, reinstated, if you will, uh, today? Well, the figure is uh, vast because some speak of a few hundred people and some say that 20,000 have been suspended right. and could potentially come back. But uh, many have changed uh, jobs because they were not allowed to get their salaries. They had no unemployment benefits, so they had to, to switch jobs. Uh, it's about 1%, not even 1% of overall health care workers. Uh, and, well, uh, what we can see now is the decree of published yesterday, which announces the suspension of the obligation to get this vaccination. So from today, they can go back to work if they wish to. Of course, this has to be organized. How will they be uh, received by their co-workers? Mm -hmm. Well, we can see some images that our um, uh, reporter uh, Marie Schuster uh, shot a few months ago uh, uh, with uh, suspended health care workers, and uh, the situation for them is complicated. Some uh, will be received with, uh, well, defiance because uh, their colleagues believe that, well, they got the vaccine. Why should others not get them and mm. just come back without going through that mandatory phase? But uh, other people are saying that you really need to understand them. We need the extra hands. There's a crisis at the hospital. Anyone who can help out will be uh, welcomed. And these images uh, were of actually people who were helping out their colleagues who were suspended, give them, giving them food. Food. Some people have gotten gotten into a difficult situation, and this is, was a protest in their favor, asking a few months ago for them to be reintegrated, uh, with one doctor saying that the situation now has changed. When uh, the obligation was put in place, uh, the vaccine was supposed to stop the transmission, but today COVID is not as lethal oh, as it was yeah. back then, and the vaccine in this current phase does not stop transmission as much as we would hope it will. So they say that the danger, the risk is not as important as at the time and they should be welcomed back. Well, look, anti-vaxxers is uh, the term that uh, has been used a lot here in, in, in France to describe people who ultimately don't want to or didn't want to get the vaccination. France 24 reporters met with some of them. It appears there's no one profile of so-called anti vax Yes, because some of these people, they had their first two shots. It's just it's the third one they didn't want to get for various reasons. Uh, others were really uh, scared. They felt it was too much unknown. They didn't get the, maybe the proper information. Mm. And now they're getting going back home, we're seeing various images of protests. I think this one is in Guadeloupe. No, this one is in Paris, but we'll see some images from Guadeloupe as well, where there is some tension because as they're coming back, well, uh, hospital uh, leaders are saying we're not going to put them in COVID sections. Uh, and in some areas where there's a, a hostility, there was a lot of tension, especially in Guadeloupe, uh, because some people got the vaccines, other not. So it was a, a complicated situation. Um, and, well, um, there is some feeling of solidarity from some people, but some are concerned because there is this defiance coming back to hospital. What about this question of setting a precedence? There are those believe if you let people or anti-vaxxers, so-called anti-vaxxers, back in uh, to the workplace, they might kind of go against uh, health policies in the future. Yes, because some of them are not anti-vaxxers, others are. They're against the vaccine, some of them. And there's a feeling that we're bringing into the hospital and various health institutions people who don't really believe in the system, which could uh, make things complicated. Up until today, there was this obligation uh, to get the vaccine, uh, and now everything's changing. So health officials are feeling that uh, this could maybe in the future make things not as certain as they were before. This, suspension's, uh, this suspension is making things more flexible, more mm. humane for workers, health workers, but it could be more difficult to manage on the long run. Plus, the National Assembly voted last week a uh, uh, complete scrapping of the law of the obligation to get the vaccine, even for other vaccines than COVID. So for some health officials, this sets a dangerous precedent. OK, fascinating stuff, Shirley. So those unvaccinated workers allowed back in uh, to their workplaces today, reinstated. For now, Shirley, thanks very much. Our science reporter.